Hey Capricorn, Happy New Year and Happy Birthday to those of you who are having birthdays around this time. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So this is going to be your general love reading for the first half of January 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Capricorn. And because it is general, it's not going to resonate for all of you. And that's okay. If you want, you can book a personal reading or you can check out one of your other signs. All right, Capricorn, let's see. All right, we have recognition for the overall energy here. Okay, so recognizing something here within this connection, possibly recognizing um, deeper emotions, deeper feelings, either from you or from another person, or maybe even the both of you. So let's get into this and see. What is this about for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, first half of January 2022. And please do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in general readings. Okay, so what do we have here? For the main energy, we have the Seven of Wands crossed by the Five of Swords. <laughs> okay, a lot of defensiveness here. I feel like there is some kind of a wall that somebody is putting up and really holding on to that like no other. Um, almost like deceiving their own self by being so guarded. So it could be you, could be them. Let's see. So for the, your recent past, we have the Two of Wands, your current energy, the Four of Cups, and <clears throat> near future, the Star. Okay, so in the recent past, I feel like there was something either that you were waiting for or just it just felt like things were not moving between you and another person or maybe just for you overall. And currently, yeah, there is a little bit of disappointment, maybe even boredom, just some passiveness. But it does look like things are about to change here coming up in the near future with the star being here, right? That's a lot of healing. That's like something, something exciting happening something new is the way it's coming in something that is meant for you or something like a wish coming in let's see for them recent past we have justice currently we have the eight of wands and near future we have the six of wands and potential outcome here we have the king of cups okay so it's looking pretty good um this person seems to have made some kind of a decision in the recent past or maybe even tried to bring some justice in, trying to make, to correct something possibly that they had done. We'll see when we clarify. I do see this person taking action or trying to communicate with you. I don't see you really responding. I feel like you are a little bit indifferent to whatever this particular situation is. There might be something else that's coming in for you though, um, because I do see a big shift here. Um, for those of you where it is about this person, it could even be that you are finding new hope for this person. Um, but definitely getting that for most of you, I feel like you're just indifferent. Because um, this person is definitely making some kind of an effort here. And I do see them still trying with that Six of Wands here. They're really trying to win you over. But let's see. Let's get into this. I mean, King of Cups for the potential outcome, that's beautiful. That's love. That's somebody coming in that is emotionally mature. Um, and I do feel like it's going to be something that really, really fulfills you. Because you have that star. And it, it might be this person. It might be this person. You just seem a little bit indifferent to them or you just, um, I don't know, maybe you don't see what they're doing. Maybe you don't, you, you're you not really picking up on this communication or on their intentions. So it does feel like you are the one who is more guarded here unless the roles are reversed. So let's see, let's clarify that seven of wands with the five of swords. Okay, so we almost had the Two of Cups and the Five of Pentacles come out, but the ones that I am taking are the Hierophant, the Page of Pentacles, and the Sun. 
Okay, yeah, it definitely feels like there was some kind of a commitment here, at some point at least. It could even be in the current energy, but I'm, I am just feel like it's more in the past. Um, but I feel like it's a past that is affecting you now. I feel like there has been some kind of a betrayal that has happened. And because of that betrayal, that's why you are now really, really guarded. But it, it's almost feeling like you're, you're guarding yourself overall, like in general, not just from this one particular person. I feel like there was, whatever that situation was, it was a situation where there was a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment. You felt very happy within a particular commitment or if it wasn't really a commitment, it was a very deep spiritual connection though with somebody. And I feel like it didn't really get that far, all right, with that Page of Pentacles. Like, it had taken off, but it never really went that far. There was just this very deep connection with this person and, and there was a betrayal, basically. Okay, so let's see, let's see that two of wands for your recent past. And we have the Page of Wands and the Knight of Swords. It's like you were waiting for truth. You were either waiting for truth or waiting for some kind of an action. Possibly even some kind of a communication, some kind of a message. And I feel like you were very eagerly waiting for this to happen. And I almost get the sense that it did with justice being their energy. Let's see. Justice for them. Hmm. The Two of Swords and the World. They definitely tried to make something right or they definitely made some kind of a decision but I feel like it still kind of left things up in the air. It still left things feeling like they were just not, not complete but then it's like something stopped. That's the best way I can explain this. Um, it could even be that this person made a decision to to end something, but wasn't really 100% sure about that. So for some of you, it could definitely be that this person tried to make things right, but they just didn't. Like, they put in that effort, they, they tried, but it wasn't, it, it, it didn't satisfy you. It didn't satisfy you, so there, it, it feels like there was some kind of a, conclusion here but it wasn't really like it wasn't mutual like you didn't really feel like you were able to see eye to eye so this resolution just felt like like there wasn't really that much closure exactly let's see the eight of wands for their current energy The moon, the three of wands, and the fool. Okay, so this person's really confused at the moment. Um, they are taking some action. I feel like they are doing something or in whatever way, okay? For some of you, <clears throat> it might not be direct communication, all right, especially with the moon here. It might be that this person is somehow sending you like secret messages or possibly, you know, it could even be through so so social media, for example, posting things that are meant for you to see. They're definitely doing certain things. Maybe they're doing things to try to get your attention because I don't feel like they're doing it directly, especially also with this three of wands. It's like they're waiting to see your response. They're doing something here, right? They're very, very um, active, but they're doing it in a way where it's almost hidden and they're waiting to see your reaction. And I feel like, honestly, this might be a little bit... <clears throat> A little immature kind of from their end but there's a lot of confusion on their side for how to exactly 
go about dealing with this. They really don't know what to do. Um, to them it also feels a little bit of a risk to be more direct. So let's see the Four of Cups. I mean, now I understand why you're kind of ignoring that, you know? You're not really phased by this type of <clears throat> attitude or behavior. The Four of Cups. We only got two. We have the Queen of Swords and the Tower. Yeah, you don't want this. You're not interested. You're not interested in this type of a thing. It does... Um, you just you just want <laughs> honesty and you want somebody to be upfront and direct, right? Like that Queen of Swords. And so if they're not, you're just trying to cut this out. And there is this tower here, right? I mean, it's like you're just like, no, no, this, I'm done with this. And I do feel like, I feel like we had similar energy for the other two earth signs as well. So it seems to be like a common theme where you're just like, no, you know, um, let the tower fall. Let the tower fall. And I feel like you're trying to be very firm with that and just not, not interested in the way that this person is going about this. All right. So let's see the Six of Wands for what is coming up for them. Ooh, okay, interesting that we got the star <clears throat> here clarifying um, their future energy. We have the star for you. We have the star, all right, the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Devil. So that's your energy showing up here. Um, by the way, we do also have Taurus, Leo, Libra. Aquarius. We have a whole bunch of signs. We also have Pisces, Aries. <laughs> so it's a lot of signs that are showing up here. We do have um, Capricorn also showing up at the moment. So yeah, could be any sign, <clears throat> but these are the signs that are standing out the most. So this person wants to win you back. And I swear, it's like the <laughs> it was the same for all three. Um, Earth signs. They really want this. They really want to make things work. They really want success. It's like they just really want to win you back, but they're having a really hard time. They're having a really, really hard time. I see them putting in actually a lot of effort and this is really weighing heavy on them. It's feeling challenging um, to the point where I also want to see it's becoming like an obsession. And there's still something here. I mean, I don't know what it is that happened in the past, but with this devil being attached to this, it could just be them being obsessed, okay? It could just be them being obsessed, but I see them as still having to work a few things out with their own self, but I don't see them giving up in trying to win you back. Let's see the star for you. Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, and the Ten of Pentacles. Ah, oh, you're, I feel like, you know, you're, you're undergoing a shift where it's like you're, you know exactly what it is that you want. And if you're not going to get that 100% in this commitment of exactly what it is that you want and exactly what it is that you deserve, I don't know if you are going to take this offer maybe some of you some of you might because I'm not seeing like a definite no here but I'm mostly seeing this star as being like a healing and in getting something that you truly truly want and really going after what it is that you truly want and something just being very very different here a big shift like the wheel just turning in a new direction for you which is leading to this um, stability long-term commitment happiness and I feel like really what it is, is is that that's what you want. And because you're clear about that, you don't want this kind of, you know, um, indirect kind of behavior towards you. I don't know if you're going to take this back. 
Again, very similar to Taurus and Capricorn, uh, Virgo. All right, so King of Cups. Let's see what this is. All right, we have the Five of Wands, Judgment, and the Three of Cups. All right. Well, it does look like it's this person actually really trying to come in. Um, for some of you, it could definitely be that someone new is coming in, but there's definitely somebody showing up here having some emotional maturity and really wanting something, something with you here. And I feel like they're fighting for it, big time. All right, and I was wondering where is this recognition in all of this, and here it is with judgment. There is some kind of a recognition about love. There's a recognition about what is it that causes conflict and what is it that keeps things light and positive. So it definitely could also be this person. I see it more as being you, but it definitely could be them. Either way, this is, this is a beautiful way to close out your reading because this does talk about that discernment. And I see it ending up with that three of cups, right? Having something to celebrate about. have the new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. Yeah, definitely seeing that with the Wheel of Fortune here, right? The Wheel of Fortune does talk about, you know, it can be fate, it can be um, luck, you know, if you believe in that, but definitely things working out for the best here for you, okay? Luck is on your side. So yeah, those were the messages for you, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.